accepted. Uh, so there's no ambiguity. The standing orders are that each group or party have 10 minutes. If it looks as if there'll be about 30 minutes left, for the members of the committee, it have offered. Uh, no, no. Those who have offered are Peter Burke, deputies Peter Burke, Castle, Connolly, Colnan, Alan Farrell, Ray Mc, uh, Mark McSharry, and Bo, uh, Deputy Elward. And there's no. P oh, wait a minute. No, wait, I, I can only take the names as I find them in the House. I mean, I can't second guess for people who are outside and may wish to contribute. And then I'm leaving three minutes for the Minister. And it's not in the order either, but I think it's reasonable. So has anybody a problem with that? Right, we move on. Deputy uh, Catherine Murphy, and the clock starts now. Right, thank you. Um, this debate was originally supposed to uh, happen last Wednesday. It was originally scheduled for last Wednesday, and, or for last Thursday. And because Public Accounts Committee meets on Thursday, it was requested that it would meet on Wednesday. But the reason it didn't happen then was because the Minister uh, wouldn't be here. Well, it's interesting. We've scheduled a debate to accommodate the Minister and the Minister has stayed for a very short period of this debate. That is hugely uh, disrespectful, um, and I want to, I want to note that. Um, when you come in to, um, on, on the numerous occasions that I have heard, and I've asked questions myself, of Minister Noonan in relation to the oversight of NAMA, we have been assured on every single sultry occasion that the CNAG was embedded in NAMA. In, in fact, he gave the impression that they had a supervisory role. The CNAG have uh, clarified that, that in fact it was an audit role. And there have been a few occasions where there was a, um, a value for money audit done. And on, this is one of the occasions, and it was, I think, the only one that was done into a transaction or a set of transactions. Um, now, does the Minister have confidence in the Controller and Auditor General? Is he accepting? the results of the, the Controller and Auditor General's report. Uh, he ser certainly is uh, contesting the Public Accounts Committee's report, but that actually finds uh, that the CNAG, uh, CNAG's report was balanced and fair. So the Minister needs to clarify that and clarify that very quickly, um, because um, uh, otherwise the entire role of the Public Accounts uh, Accounts Committee and the CNAG, who were embedded in NAMA, is called into question. Um, the, uh, see, obviously, the CNAG fundamentally uh, differ, uh, differ on the losses incurred and the, uh, the appropriateness of the mechanisms which led to the losses uh, in relation to NAMA. The PAC report um, of project supports the CNAG finding, and, 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 and that, is the, uh, that is the situation. Um, the um, Minister, um, and the very short amount of time that's available to the Minister, said that the minutes of the meeting for services available on the Department of Finance website. And we had looked at that um, uh, towards the end of the, uh, the, the, uh, the when, as, as we were concluding the report. And in actual fact, those minutes um, are quite revealing. It does, they do reveal that um, the issue of Project Eagle was uh, referred to or discussed, but it's minuted. Um, and there is certainly a very deferential uh, tone to those minutes in relation to Cerberus, who then went on and purchased uh, 14, million, or 14 billion worth of assets. So the conflict of interest issue is an important issue. There's even the perception of conflict is important because the last thing you want to be given is the impression um, or the perception that there is an inside track that, in fact, uh, had, the, uh, or had the potential to have a bearing on the amount of money that was got for further assets. Um, I want to refer to another issue that came up during, and I had hoped the Minister would be here for this, during uh, the process, and that was um, whether NAMA had the uh, standing to actually sell some of these uh, loans uh, to, to Cerberus, as, as it happened. And it pertains, to, it pertains to the Irish banks effectively hiding losses and thus exposing the central bank, and by extension, Irish citizens to significant losses. And I believe various misrepresentations were made to the Public Accounts Committee, and indeed, uh, PAC appears to have been misled regarding to the interpretation of IAS 39 
Um, the former central bank governor, uh, I've got to say Patrick Honan, Honan, actually claimed during the bank inquiry that he had legal advice ass assuring him that it was not possible to stop Irish banks from hiding losses and uh, thus borrowing um, from the uh, uh, Irish central bank fraudulently. In effect, they were allowed to cover up uh, uh, the, their insolvency while borrowing from the central bank. And this goes to the heart of the standing of, of the legal standing of NAMA and its loans, whether or not um, they, they, they were actually uh, owned by, um, it should have been owned by the Irish Central Bank. And it's quite, it's quite a technical thing, but it has real impacts on people's lives. People's homes are possibly being re repossessed illegally. Shareholders are being misled about pension funds, and uh, are being, uh, you know, the, the, their funds are being decimated. And meanwhile, uh, the biggest beneficiaries are the hedge funds. Um, the um, the final thing I want to say is that um, the there is. I'm fully supportive of a further inquiry. I hate to think we're going to spend money and time on a further inquiry, but I believe it's needed. Um, and I think that there is a very serious issue in relation to confidence in NAMA, um, given if this is not an, uh, an isolated instance, but the norm, um, to conclude further sales. Um, and I, I, I think that that is, uh, uh, at the very least, dented. Um, but uh, I, I, I've got to say, I would have concerns about NAMA, having seen what we've seen through the Public Accounts Committee on this project, uh, uh, carrying out further large sale transactions. Thank you.